And here we go again with a new week beginning. And as always, we have our angels with us. Today, we are receiving their guidance for the week of the 12th through the 18th of March, 2018. So keep watching because the angels have beautiful messages as always. Hello beautiful soul, welcome back. In today's video we're receiving angel guidance for the week of the 12th through the 18th of March 2018. If it's your first time here and you would like to grow your spirituality and improve your health, remember to go to the subscribe button below so you will always get notifications whenever I post a new video here in my channel. And for this week's guidance, I'm going to be using the Angel Dreams Oracle Cards. This is by the Ring Virtue and Melissa Virtue. We have 55 cards in this deck. It's a beautiful deck. And I got the cards already here with me. And as always, I invite you to just close your eyes and breathe. Connect with me, connect with our angels. And let's ask them for the right messages for the upcoming week. So just breathe and let's keep shuffling and asking them whatever they want to tell us, whatever message is going to resonate with us, it's going to help us have a wonderful week, always in the company of our angels. So just keep shuffling and connecting with their energy, asking them, it's here, it's here, it's here, Monday and Tuesday. We got two cards, so let's keep asking them for Wednesday and Thursday, asking them to surround us with their love, with their light, and to touch our hearts. Oh, it's flying away. Wednesday is here, Wednesday and Thursday, and again, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is also right over here. So let's see now what they told us, what they want us to know for the first two days of the week. They chose two cards. The first one is the Hawthorne uh, card. This one is talking about balance and the elemental kingdom. And the other one is the white card. It's about source, divinity. It's about your crown chakra, actually. It's about connecting with the divine. So what they want you to do for the beginning of the week, they want you to, re they want to remind you actually that how important it is to connect spiritually to connect with your angels to connect with the divine to connect with source energy when you connect when you feel deeply rooted with your grounds connected to the earth and with your energy your crown chakra open and receiving direct light direct white energy from the source then you will find your balance then you will see that throughout your week your life is going to be much easier because you are in a proper balance between mother earth and between the source energy so the angels want to remind you about the importance of connecting of having balance of bringing your energy down reminding yourself that you still have your human experiences but you're also a divine being of light so remember this week the beginning of the week to always do your grounding and do your connection with the divine creating this light creating this string of beautiful white light that connects you from above to below and this is going to help you to be balanced throughout the week this is going to help you to be focused this is going to help you to receive guidance from your angels in an easier and clear and more clear way so remember, my dear, this is very, very important. Begin your week by keeping a balance, by keeping your energy in a proper connection with your physical body and with the divine. Okay, so let's see now for Wednesday and Thursday. 
the cards that they chose is the dress rehearsal it's a beautiful card it says it's talking about alternative course alternative choices choosing a different path so what they want you to do in the middle of the week, if something arises, they want you to understand that you have choices. Nothing in our lives are forever. Understand this message, my dear. You do have choices. You can choose to change. You have always a whole um, option, a whole different options to choose from. So remember that nothing is forever. You're not locked inside a box where you have only one way to go, where you have only one path to follow. You don't need to keep following this path. You can change. There are always different approaches. There's all, there are always different ways to move on with your life. Try to see it from outside of the box, my dear. Don't lock yourself looking at only one way to go. If this is not making you happy, if this is getting harder and harder, breathe and remember to see it clearly, to understand that you do have options. There's always a different way to go. There are things, there are ways that you can change and, and get to the same result, but you will be enjoying the ride. You're not going to be forcing yourself to do something that is keeping you sad or is keeping you low or is draining you. They're talking very strongly to remind you that you do have options. There are always different ways. There are always different choices. So change. Choose something different today. Do something different so your path will start to take a different way and you will still get the same results. You can still get to an even brighter future if you actually choose you, if you actually choose your happiness. Listen to your heart. If your heart is telling you strongly that this is not serving you anymore, there are different ways to do the same thing. So remember, my dear, to look outside the box. Look at all the options that are being presented to you. People are telling you how to do it. There are new ideas coming. So listen. Listen to the guidance. The angels are speaking through different people in your life now to tell you and to show you that it is possible to change. It is possible to live your life enjoying every moment just by a matter of shifting your perspective, of doing something different. Remember, they're telling me now to remind you your happiness is not outside of you. Your happiness is not when you get something. It's not when you achieve something. Your happiness is here. When you are happy here, now is the moment that is making you happy. You will enjoy each and every day. Living happier, living lighter, living more peaceful. So remember, there are always options. There's always different ways to do things. And the angels are giving you the options, my dear. Don't drag anymore. Don't drag yourself to do things anymore. Things that are making you sad. There are different ways of enjoying your life. Even if it looks hard, still there are options that can make you happy. There are people, there are things in your life that it's still worthy of making you happy and giving your attention to. So listen to their guidance. Listen to your heart and follow your heart. Listen to what, it's, what your heart is telling you. It's time to choose you. It's time to be happy. Okay, my dear, listen and remember these words that the angels are giving you now. If something arises, breathe. 
look outside the box, clear your mind, receive this divine light that they told you about in the beginning of the week, ground your energy, stay balanced, so then you can see everything clearly. Okay, so let's see now for the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, they gave us the winning moon and it's, it's talking about uh, introspection and self-inventory. They want you to do during the weekend just to do a little bit more of meditation, to think a little bit more about yourself, about your life, about things that happened to you before so you don't lead yourself to the same results over and over again. The way you will find a different way, a different solution, a different uh, future is by looking inside, is by remembering who you are, is by trying to do things differently. If you keep doing the same thing, the same way, over and over again, and this is not serving you, this is not making you happy, that is your sign. It is time to change. This is meant to be showing you that you need to change. And how are you going to change? How are you going to see which way to go? by going inwards, by going inside your heart and finally listening to what your heart is telling you. So remember during the weekend, my dear, to be a little bit more inside of yourself, connected, okay? Don't go so much out. Like I told you before, the answers are not outside never outside it's always in your heart when you follow what you want nothing goes wrong the angels always help you they always guide you towards the best so remember to listen remember to give attention to what you truly want it lives inside of you breathe connect with yourself meditate a little bit during the weekend this can take you only five minutes of your day. You don't need to be three, four hours meditating. But when you breathe, when you stop a little bit and you clear your mind through your breath, then the answers will start to come to surface. Then you will start to find new ideas. Then you will start to receive your angel's guidance clearly. So remember during the weekend, to bring your attention to yourself, okay? To be focused, to value your heart, value your feelings, because they are telling you what to do, okay, my dear? So this was our angel guidance for the week of the 12th through the 18th of March. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it resonated with your heart. And as always, I want to thank you for staying with me during this video. And I hope your angels stay with you throughout this week, blessing you, protecting you, and guiding you. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, remember to go to my website. The uh, link is in the description below. And also comment. I want to know about your feelings about how this guidance made you feel about your opinions about how is your connection with your angels if you have suggestions if you have questions remember i'm here for you i wish you a wonderful week and i'll see you very soon again namaste